I started playing guitar when I was 12, 13 years old. After I saw the Jimi Hendrix documentary and was like, I want to be exactly like that man. Please, fast forward to now, I make alternative indie rock music. I'm inspired by 60s, 70s classic rock and early 2000s alternative rock. My heroes, Jimi Hendrix played The Flying V and then I also saw the other Jimmy Page playing the Les Paul. So when I was a kid and I was kind of f first starting to get really excited about the electric guitar, I naturally gravitated towards Gibson's. It's been an emotional relationship ever since. And I play the Firebird when I'm on stage and I'm excited to try out this Theodore. <laughs> Initially, what I'm seeing is this little funky shape that we got on the Theodore, which I'm drawn to immediately. To me, it kind of looks like a pretty little flower, perhaps, maybe a tulip of sorts. But also this, the headstock, kind of just gives me rock and roll immediately. Like it looks like the Gibson Explorer headstock. So it's like a nice little balance of like feminine and masculine, maybe like me too, a little androgynous. I've been told that this is the same scale length as my Firebird. However, it feels shorter. This guy, Theo, obviously, his name, sits very nicely. And it's nice and balanced, which is great. Okay, so let's see what the Theodore sounds like. Got a little verb on right now, and we're in the neck pickup, and we're just gonna start there. <laughs> When I pick up a Gibson and put it in the neck position, I'd like to hear some like naturally warm tones, which I think the Theodore did wonderfully. Obviously, we have no grit on it or anything. It's kind of just clean. That's a good sign. It cleans up nice. When I was playing up here, easy to move up and down the neck. No problems there. But yeah, I'm curious to hear more from it. And I want to play around with this tone knob and see if, you know, we can get some like jazzier tones in the neck position. So I'm gonna roll the tone off, take this verb off here, and see if she can jazz. <laughs> Sounds lovely. It's great. It's not a 335, but I did not mind that at all. I thought it held its own. The tone knob is kind of like, we're on like one or two here. So there's still some give. We can make it even warmer if we'd like. But yeah, I thought it was great. Thought it performed well. Okay, so we're still on the neck pickup and then we're gonna put some drive on it and see how it sounds. <laughs> The neck pickup, I'm very impressed by. When I dug in, you did get some of that bite in, which is always nice, especially in the kind of like warmer position. And then it was really like lovely and, and responsive when I was playing light, very dynamic, kind of held its own. Sustain was still great, even when I was just picking really light, soft as a feather. Yeah, I, I'm impressed so far. Okay, so we're gonna flick on through to the middle position now. I honestly, for live stuff at least, I don't play the middle position 
that often. I'll sometimes have fun with it, like in the studio, if I'm looking for a really nice, open, clean tone, if I'm playing like big chords. So I'm excited to see what this Theodore can give me. The middle position, obviously, brighter. And I think we can all hear that. I put some delay on just to make it sound extra pretty. And yeah, I was playing some like open chords, some sustained notes in there. Um, and I think that's kind of where, if I were to use this middle position, that's where it would sort of live. In the open chord world, we're frolicking through fields of grass. It's beautiful. It's a nice sunny day. So I think the Theodore really opened up to that. And I'm curious to see what this middle position is going to sound like with like a dirtier tone and whether she'll deliver. Let's find out. So we're going to get a little bit louder in here by a little bit. I mean a lot. We've got the Electro Harmonics Big Muff Buzz pedal here, the MXR Fat Sugar Drive pedal. And then I'm going to put on a reverb as well. And that's going to be our little cocktail of sounds. So here we go. Yeah, again, I wouldn't initially go and shoot for the middle position, but I really was surprised that I enjoyed it and I could play the fuck out of that sound, honestly, for, for hours. Okay, so we're moving on to the bridge pickup. This is my favorite. And right, we're gonna hear the clean tone first and then we're gonna hear the dirty tone. And I'm excited to hear what, what Theo has to say about it. The bridge pickup is my favorite pickup by far. I'm always using this guy. It is a 57 Classic Plus Gibson pickup. To me, it sounds very warm. It actually is more warmer than I initially expected, especially on the kind of like rhythm parts that I was playing. So it feels like a nice warm hug. I'll definitely be wanting to use this time. So we're gonna put on three out of four pedals. Our first, our, our trusty Big Muff over here on the right hand side. Then our MXR Fat Sugar Dry Pedal. And then our RV7 Stereo Verb. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm not. So for me, the bridge pickup is, is my go-to pickup. It's my favorite. And when you're playing kind of like riffs like that, which I do a lot in my music, you get the warmth from the humbucker and then you get the nice articulation from the bridge position. So I'm always leaning on this bridge. I really love it. I think Theodore himself sounds really great. 
great response to the heavy gains that we're, we're giving him. So moving around around the neck playing that, that riff, I, I felt like because of the slim taper neck, it was easy. I could have my hands really on top of the strings. I usually prefer a C shape or like a more modern shape, but I think in context with the rest of the body, it feels good and it feels appropriate to have this shape. The Gibson Theodore, I'm very impressed by. I think that the more time you spend with the guitar, the more that you resonate with it. And as I sat here playing it, I got more and more obsessed with it as time went on. So I think that's a really good sign for a guitar. The weight distribution is really, really solid. It feels like an extension of your body when you're sat with it in your lap. Feels good. One of my favorite things about Theodore is his aesthetics. And this body is like incredibly enticing to me. This shape headstock and the interesting like left of center body shape, it's a massive plus for me. And history lesson for you, this body shape was actually designed in the 50s. To me, it looks really modern and I think it like really holds its own like what, 70 odd years later. So well done Gibson, you're ahead of your time clearly. And yeah, I thought it was great. The Greer tones, very, very impressed. Bridge pickup would 100% use again. And yeah, the Theodore, I liked her. If you want to learn more about the Gibson Theodore Standard, visit guitarcenter.com, talk to one of their expert gear advisors, or just go buy your local GC. Mm -hmm.